Hello and welcome to another Cat Dimensions Tech Tip. My name is Ruta and today we are going to talk about rotating a component while inserting it in an assembly. Let's have a look at an example to demonstrate this functionality. The assembly already contains a few components and we are going to learn a few ways to add the remaining components easily by rotating them in the UI and then meeting them. I'm going to introduce you to a few options. First one being the In Context toolbar in the Insert Component dialog. Most of the times the components are imported in a different orientation and need to be rotated in order to easily mate them with the base component. The availability of context toolbars is helpful in such cases and you don't need to open another dialog to rotate the component. In general, context toolbars provide easier access to the most common commands or options that relate to the recent selection. I'm going to open the insert component dialog to insert the female yoke in this assembly. The rotate component toolbar can be accessed from a checkbox in this dialog. This automatically brings up a small toolbar with X, Y and Z axis and an option to rotate the component along either of these. I'm going to rotate my component by changing the angles to get the required orientation on the screen. I would also like to introduce you to another keyboard shortcut here. Hitting the tap key on your keyboard will rotate the component by 90 degrees along the recently selected direction while shift tap will undo the rotation. Using these functionalities together can save you from multiple clicks while inserting a component in an assembly. In older SOLIDWORKS versions, this task was accomplished in two steps by inserting the component first and then rotating it and you can still do that. The most common way is to right click and drag on the component in the graphics area or use the rotate component command found under the assembly tab of the command manager right under the move component flyout or right click on the component in the graphics area and choose move with triad option and then select the rings to rotate it. Thus, you can add and make the remaining components to complete the universal joint assembly. Well, I believe I've summarized all the ways to rotate a component in the assembly and I hope you enjoyed this tech tip and I look forward to see you back. Thank you. Don't forget to check us out on YouTube, Twitter, Facebook and our blog for more great content by clicking on the links in the description below.